the Hunger Games, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Yes, it is me, Doze Muffin XC, and yes, I am wearing a pink wig. Pink being probably my least favorite color, but explanation behind this. Uh, I am reading The Hunger Games with my students, and I cannot tell you how excited I am about doing The Hunger Games with these kids. It's going to blow their minds. It totally blew mine. It was already blown before, but we're not going to tell them that. So on Thursday, I'm going to be splitting them up into groups, and they're going to be competing against each other for um, prizes, and their points are going to be taken from quiz grades, and from behavior, and whatever. Um, but I thought it would be fun since we're probably not going to start reading until next week. So to give them a taste of what's to come, I would dress up as one of the characters from the book to put them into their groups to participate in a reaping of our own. If you know anything about Hunger Games, you may be able to kind of pick up on what I'm talking about. If not, you know, pink wig. I think it's still funny anyway. And they're just going to, you know, they're going to laugh because they like to laugh at me. That's just, I'm a source of their amusement. So I am dressed as Effie Trinket, the capital representative for District 12. And uh, I don't really have a great costume. Um, I have this pink tie-dyed shirt, which I'm not going to be able to wear on Thursday because it's not really school attire. But um, it's going to be awesome. I've got a lot of makeup on. You can't really tell right now. Um, just because of the lighting in this room really sucks. But... Oh, so much. And this wig is so itchy because I've had it on for hours. I wore this to book club tonight and it was great, amazing, hilarious. So anyway, um, so I've been on a Hunger Games kick because that is our last book of the year and we are going to be barreling through this book. I don't know if we're going to make it through it. I'm, you know, fingers crossed. But, um, so in honor of the Hunger Games, because I kind of wanted to um, and I've wanted to do this for a while, and it's just, this just gave me a reason to. I made this Hunger Games shirt with a, let's see, can I get a good picture here? Um, with the Mockingjay logo on the front in gold. It's just a black shirt. Um, and um, s some of you um, were amazing and looked at the problems that I was having with my stenciling. I am... Um, I, um, I think I posted a couple pictures and they just, they didn't, you know, I, I was having troubles with my stencil and I asked, um, a few of you for advice on how, you know, what I was doing wrong. And I think that what I did was, I think that one, one I probably ironed it over way too many times, the stencil itself. And two, I put too many coats of paint on, um. I really didn't need that many, especially because I put on so many because the metallic gold when I first put it on was not that, um, I want to say dark, but it wasn't that vibrant um, against the black background, so I felt like I kept having to put more on, but really, um, I put glitter on top, and the glitter was almost a color unto itself, and it was gold glitter, so I really didn't need that much, I mean, I could have gone for like one, maybe two coats, and I would have been fine. Um, so you live and you learn. I still have little specks and bits. You can't really see it um, with this camera. Um, but there's, you know, there's little bits of stencil still stuck on here. It's a mess. If you don't look at it too closely, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, but I am going to make another one, um, hopefully for, as a gift for someone. And I will definitely, you know, not settle for this, but this one I'll keep, and I'll wear it, and my kids won't know the difference, and it's going to be awesome. Um, so that is, that's kind of the extent of crafting this week. I had spring break last week, and we are back to the grindstone. Oh my god. Um, I think we, I think we said, like, it's, it's like, what, like six weeks of school? Six Mondays, I think we have left of teaching. Oh my god. It's going to be glorious, glorious to be over. But I am really excited about doing the Hunger Games. So if any of you have read Hunger Games and have any suggestions of things that, um, activities we might do or, uh, you know, points that, things you really liked, events you really liked that you pulled out, or if any of those of you who have children have read the Hunger Games, anything they liked in particular, 
I would love to bring that to the table with my ninth graders. And they are pretty low as far as reading levels go. So this is going to be the highest book that we have tackled this year. But it's a good thing. They need to be challenged. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, gosh. I'm sitting on my heels right now because this chair that I have is really low. And it's kind of painful. Um, so that is, that is about it. And I will not waste any more time on this today. I am hoping to have um, some quilt blocks done shortly. Um, but, you know, I feel kind of stupid showing them because they're all kind of the same pattern over and over again. But I'm looking forward to putting them together and getting your opinions on how best to construct my quilt top. But that's going to be a while in coming. I'm working on the Super Secret Fandom Drawing Prize, but it's, it's taken a little bit longer. I'm trying to make sure that I have a solid idea in my head before I execute it. So Jules, I'm working on it. I haven't forgotten about you, but I want to make sure that it is awesome and not just eh so 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 in that case have a fabulous tuesday enjoy yourselves keep crafting and if you are down here in the southern states i pray you stay cool happy hunger games